Just go in there. Yeah, you know you're right. What's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> your childhood dream. What did you want to do? I wanted to be a lawyer. And what do you do now? Only fans. Only fans. How's that going? Pretty good. How long? How much do you expect your guy to make a year? At least seven figures. Seven figures at least. Do you know how difficult it is to make seven yes, figures? Absolutely, I do. I honestly, we deserve it. I got into a force. I hate his ass. And I got now in three different countries. I cheated on everybody I went with. He told me he only likes girls into fitness, so I've been fitting his homies in my mouth. Get the rocks. Yeah. Abdul? Yeah, get the rocks. Get the rocks. I am done being a and I want to be in love. Haram! We need the will of God. We need Allah. Listen, I'm ready for the asteroid. I've had enough. Oh, shit. <laughs> This is a certified hood classic. To this day! To this day! Do you find American men. Oh, attractive? yes, 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 yes. Are Filipinas loyal? Filipinos? Yeah, you. Are you loyal? Filipina? Filipina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, we are. We are. Oh, yeah, no. The truth came out. And I can promise you. We Asian women are happy to have your men and offer them everything they've been looking for. And you attack us Asian women too. You call us poor, uneducated, submissive, desperate women who are happy with your table scraps and rejects. But if you truly believe we were getting your leftovers, the men you don't want anyway, then why do you sound so angry and defensive about it and try to shame men for finding happiness here? And what you call submissive is what we call being agreeable. Do I look uneducated, submissive, and desperate to you? Well, guess what? There are millions more like me over here, just waiting to have a shot at making your man happy. For 28 years of my life, there are three things that I have never seen. The first one, a unidentified flying saucer. Two, a Bigfoot riding a unicorn. Three, a girl that I need. And this woman is all three of them. She is that Bigfoot riding a unicorn. As a matter of fact, John Cena loves Asian women so much that this motherfucker starts speaking Chinese. You want the Chinese version? I'll give you that too. Well, your Jin Yao die. What's your Guan Jin? Well, Yong Yuan Bu Fan Chi. Meanwhile, let the rock tell you in Chinese. Uh oh. Chinese? Ding bang ding dong, his don't go aye! John Cena is probably somewhere out in Southeast Asia. Straight, been chilling. Been chilling, been chilling. So do you, Jishin Joe? Be, been chilling. Hi, folks. The Filipina be here. And today's question is What do women think of men who leave their home countries to seek love in foreign lands? Well, apparently there's quite a war of words going on between a certain segment of Western women and men who pursue international relationships. It seems there's a lot of animosity against these guys, with name-calling and outrageous accusations. The conflict centers around a movement called the Passport Bros, who are typically black guys who have gotten fed up with the situation in the West and decided to look elsewhere for a happy life. Now, even though the passport bros are mostly African Americans, I think you'll recognize the same tactics being used to shame any guy who dares to dream of finding a better mate overseas. So what are these women saying about the men? The passport bros are dehumanizing women to the point of basically being used for their uterus and domestic capacity. The passport bros want to put them to work in the bedroom and the home. Ah, yes, the claim that the guys are coming over here so they can turn women into slaves and force us to work in the bedroom while they impregnate us. Diabolical. You seem to think we're mindless idiots with no will of our own. We might be traditional women, but we're not empty-headed. You may not know this, but in the Philippines, women actually have quite a bit of say-so in the household. 
just talk to some of the foreigners that are married to us. But I suppose you know my culture better than I do, right? And as far as turning us into incubators, you've got that completely backwards. 99% of the time, it's the Filipina begging the foreigner to have a baby. Where are you getting this stuff from? Next. But you have to understand, a lot of us, 46, be 47 soon. Each day that goes by makes me more grateful that I'm divorced. I thank God every day that I'm divorced. If you want to get your passport and go overseas, you're welcome to it. Bye. I mean, maybe there you'll find women who are okay with being treated like doormats. I don't know. Nothing destroys a nasty person, a self-entitled woman, more than a man moving on with his life and being happy. And the most disgusting thing is that these girls, they don't even want you, but yet they don't want to see you with anyone else. Isn't that crazy? Passport bros go to third world countries and purchase little girls and turn her into a breeding mare. They're little girls, you're sick. This woman is clearly talking out of her ass. But madam, unfortunately you're talking out your rear. So sorry about the old bag. Every smart man is running overseas for a woman who weighs half as much as you do and is twice as pretty because no man wants to date a woman that looks like she can eat him. So I'm a bigger woman and this guy tells me, oh, I'm not interested in talking to you because of your size. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. I was like, it's okay, honey. You obviously don't have the right tools for the job anyway, so I'll just go find somebody with better equipment that can handle it. Well, this is a 53 cubic yard rock bucket. Again, the machine has a total hoist capacity of 80 tons. With this whole fat body acceptance, oh, it's sexy to be fat. Just a reminder, you can be fat and hot at the same time. This fat acceptance movement is the only real movement without any movement. Well, shut the fuck up, you fucking piece of bacon. And let me ask you guys this. What do fat people and modern relationships have in common? They both never seem to work out. You want to know what your problem is? Your entire life you were told that skinny is good and fat is the worst possible thing that you could be. You're not able to wrap your head around fat people being comfortable in the skin that they're in because you're uncomfortable in the skin that you're in. Fat women wearing outfits that you won't even wear because you're ashamed of your stretch marks. They wouldn't even give you a second look. The truth is, fat was never a bad thing. And once we figure that out, you'll never be able to put us back in that box again. You can have it. I'm sure it'll be a much better fit for you. Ah, killing two birds with one stone. Shame the men for not wanting large women and shame skinny women for being skinny. Brilliant. But I'm not sure you're going to convince men they've just been taught not to like fat women. And you're definitely not going to convince me that I'm secretly jealous of you because I can't wear your clothes. But nice try. My kings, I advise all you guys to get your passports ready because dating overseas... <laughs> Oh my goodness, this place is off the hook. This place is off the hook. Dating overseas, the women are more traditional, fit, friendly, feminine, cooperative, inspirational, welcoming. <laughs> but dating in the West be like, Welcome to Jurassic Park. He needs some milk. The water in that pool does not even look like water. That shit is fucking broth. He needs some milk. This girl is so fat. The fathers at church had a baptizer at SeaWorld. <laughs> question is how do you not feel slimy and disgusting as a person knowing full well that you are going to another country seeking out women that you perceive as easier to manipulate easier to control and easier to take advantage of let me break this down from a man's perspective now it's not about easier to control 
or easier to use. It's about easier to live with. Why would a man want to get with a woman who is angry, demanding, entitled, a masculine woman, a soul-sucking Jezebel that emerged from the cracks of the streets, when a man can perfectly get a woman who is fit, feminine, and friendly abroad? See, men, we are not seeking dominance. We are seeking a serious relationship, a woman who is cooperative and loyal. My husband is my boss. My husband is number one. If my husband tells me, hey, sit down, I'll sit down. If he tells me you can't go out with your friends today, I'm not going to go out with my friends. If he says, hey, go wash this dish for me, I'm going to go wash the dish for him. I chose this man to be the king of my life. And yes, I agree with everything he says and I do everything he says. And I did that because I chose this man. I put him in this position of my life. And this is how I honor and take care of and love the man in my life. So I tell women out there, you want a man in your life? You want to be happy? Figure out what you would do when you are happy. Because I am happy. My husband does so many great things for me. And I would do that for him. I obey him, I respect him, and I let him be the man that he is. I chose a man that I wanted to follow. I chose someone to lead me, and that's why I will do anything for him. If he tells me jump, I'll jump. If he tells me sit down, I'll sit down. If he tells me go in the room or go up on stage, I will do either or. Anyways, that's a message for everyone out there. Love and cherish the king in your life. Andrew Tate? How about Andrea Tate? This is what you call a high-value woman. This is what you call that Bigfoot riding a unicorn this is what you call a wife this girl is making me and christian ronaldo say inshallah girls like andrea tate gives men a slight chance of hope seeing girls like her it gives my heart a 20 inch erection my brothers inshallah assalamu alaikum peace be upon you and I pray all my brothers, I pray that you guys find a girl like this. The number one rule for my relationships that I have for myself, I don't have rules for other people, I have rules for myself. Oh, okay. Okay. I always try to make his penis hard, not his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's very valid. Yes. Yeah. Make his dick hard, not no. his life. Bing chilling. So he will make your pussy wet, not your eyes. Bing chilling. <laughs> Okay. Perfect. 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 The biggest problem in Western society is that women are more confused than a damn Rubik's Cube when it comes to understanding what men want. Uh -huh. I make a lot of money every okay. year just for my daytime. I'm a high value woman. No, you're not. Say that. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Stop. That makes it worse and for then, you, sweetheart. That makes your odds of finding a man work. And I like you, but this is just good for the, the conversation. Is really mm -hmm. good. It's polarizing. Mm -hmm. That I, I think you're ama I think you're beautiful. You're successful. All that, but that makes the chances of you finding a man worse. The Combat more money itself. you have, the more you're gonna be that lady alone with cats, sperm bank, and dildos. And that's just what's happening to women today. The more successful they are, the more likelihood that they're going to end up in that. Ladies, men do not give a two rats ass fucking in a ranch Dorito bag about your pot of gold. Because you are not going to share the pot of gold with us anyways, you selfish son of a bitch. Bing -ling. Now may we resurrect Mr. Kevin Samuels from the undead. And may he rise from his grave like the undertaker. The Godfather, the Cream Gobbler Executionist. Your presence is very much missed. Now, may you please come down and bless us with the gospel. About the women that didn't choose to raise a kid on their own. But the 50 plus percent divorce rate, women are filing 70, 80 percent of all divorces. Women are choosing to wreck their own homes every day. Men are not choosing to wreck their own homes and make women single parents. That's a choice that women are making. 
Uh, why? Because their husbands are trash, treating them badly? Yeah, this is the, okay, now, you, now here we go with the ad hominem stuff. This is the same stuff that's been piped into the culture forever. That when a woman chooses to break her home, it's always the man's fault. Not only do Western women have the highest divorce rate, but they also have the highest eviction rate, highest poverty rate, highest student loan debt, highest commercial debt, highest bankruptcy rate, highest obesity rate, highest abortion rate, highest out of the wedlock birth rate, highest STI rate. You do the math. One plus one is not potatoes. What's your craziest college confession? I've just been really sexually active. How many bodies have you got since you've been here? About 20, yeah. And that's, that's since July. Jesus Christ. So you going crazy? Yeah, the, yeah. Okay. I'm positive for type 1 and type 2 herpes. It's not, like, too big of a deal, I think. I want to arrest you. I want to arrest you. I want to take away your rights. He better disinfect and wash the air around him after talking to her because bacteria and crustaceans is at an all-time high down there. You must have some kind of spray disinfectant. <laughs> I can just, you know, up, up, in, the, up in the air. Oh, shit, let I got you, Andrew. Getting gonorrhea is not really different from getting like strep throat or something like that. Shut the <laughs> Man, who brought these you thing. playing with me today, and you too. I once got yes, man. Hold on. Oh. I What's once up, got shit? Gonorrhea. Repeat that again. I Hold said, on. Oh. Repeat that again. It's. I mean, you can treat it with antibiotics. So getting gonorrhea is not really that different it's from not getting that bad, huh? I don't think it is. Nasty bitch. Getting with a Western woman is like walking yourself into a slaughterhouse. Now, may we have Andrew Tate educate us and bless us with the knowledge on what men want from a woman. You're a dude at home, and you're watching this, and you go, I want my woman to submit, and she doesn't. Guess what? She doesn't respect you, and guess whose fault that is a lot of the time? Your fault. Ah. That is your fault as a man. Tell yes. Us. It is. Yes. No, no, it is. Yes. No, no. I'm That's not, what no, you guys please. need to damn here. Tell him, please. But it's not, it's not about blaming men and women because everyone has a problem. But but then there's also men who are worthy of respect who women refuse to respect True. because of society. Tell the so, sisters So there's too. two there's two sides to it, right? Mm. But a lot of it is if you're a capable enough man and you're brilliant enough, then the female has no choice. But it's very interesting. This goes back into a point I made earlier about how important it is for us men to find women who we don't believe have had a lot of life experience and look like they are. Because I got attacked. I'm going to make this point right now. I got attacked when the Matrix attacked me and fucking lied about me. Mm. They said that men are interested in women who are younger because they're more programmable. And that they're trying to make out that I'm making out that men are out here trying to get women and fucking do bad things to them. No. What I'm saying is... If you find a woman who's younger and been through less things, less trauma, less relationships, less headache, she's lived less life, your ideals, if you ask any woman who loves her man, what's your favorite song? His favorite song. Who do you vote for? Who he votes for? What's your favorite car? His car. That, that's how it happens when a woman loves a man. And that makes the man feel good, right? If she's been through too much shit, then that's a lot harder to pull off. So that, that, that. That, that link is very important for men and women. But, um, so yeah, the Matrix attacked me with that. But it's very, very interesting. You have to understand all these small sub-dynamics and why things are happening and why the world is the way it is. And the baseline of it is, is that everything's fucked. Men aren't acting like men and women are acting like women and it's all messed up. Oh, yeah. Wait, so what about, like, your own autonomy and, like, just, like, you can, your favorite car is your favorite car, my favorite car is my favorite car. Like, yeah. why does it have to, okay, I, so I guess that's where I'm confused. Like, why did, yeah, why does it have to be like that? I'll, 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 yeah, and that's a good point, right? I understand that completely, but I'll, I'll give you an example. I'll talk from personal experience because it okay. makes it easy for me. I have a bunch of cars. I love cars. I have 32 cars. My favorite car is X. I pick up a chick. This is my, uh, what's your favorite car? This one. I like that one. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. No big deal. But. The agreeableness is ultra attractive. The st it depends what the woman wants to do, right? If, if I was a woman and let's say, let's say, I'm an, uh, let's say I'm 22 years old and I meet a billionaire and it's my goal to marry this man. And I go to his house <laughs> and I say, wow, you have so many cars. What's your favorite car? This one. Really? I thought that one too. It looks so good. Why that one? Because this, this, this. Oh, really? Okay. I'll try and remember that. That's how you get the dude, right? You don't get the dude by going, well, that one is a better color. You're a dickhead. It's, it's, it may be small things. It may be tiny things. But men are ultra interested in things like agreeableness. So We're ultra interested in the idea of a woman absorbing our worldviews. We're ultra interested. We are. That's what we're looking what for. Gentlemen, 
that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You look at the mom if you're dating a girl. You look at the mom, if she's still pretty, then the girl that you're dating, you know you got to catch. Yeah, exactly. So looks for the long run. What if the mom doesn't look good at 50? Then dip. Run! Go! Get to the chopper!